What's up everyone? It's I'm Taylor Ray and today we are doing a huge haul from Nev Studio Streetwear. So Nev Studio sent me this box. It has 11 cool things in it that I've never tried on before and I'm excited to try on with you all. Um, full disclosure, Nev Studio did send me this box. I didn't pay for what's in it, but they did not pay me for this video. So everything that I'm about to say is from the heart. So let's get started. So first of all is actually this jacket that I'm wearing. I was so excited when I opened it that I just had to put it on now. I've actually been wanting this jacket for a while. So I'm so glad that they sent it to me. Uh, it's waterproof. It's pretty comfortable. So, and it has a cute little hood. So I'm very excited about it. But yeah, that's just a start. Um, basically, I'm gonna start with accessories, then go to the cargo pants that they sent me, and end it with hoodies and jackets. So yeah. Okay, so first up are these sunglasses. They're really cool. I feel like I'm in the Matrix or the Terminator. They're very shiny, and they're actually really easy to see through. So I definitely can't wait to wear these on photo shoots or in TikTok videos, maybe. Next up is another set of goggles, which I'm very excited about these. Um, I've shot with these before, but it was only because my friends had them and I was borrowing them. So this is a cyber visor. Basically, it glows different colors. How cool does this look? And this is during the day. I can't wait until nighttime. Whoa. Okay, okay. Focus, Taylor. Focus. We have a whole box to get through. Okay. Got a couple hats. Always love a good hat. If you can't tell, I don't know. Oh, you can't see it right now, but I actually have a whole wall of hats. I like this one. I like this design on it. It's a little bit of a design on the side too. And then just a classic Nev Studio hat. I feel like I see this in their ads all the time. Whoa, am I repping now? <laughs> I don't know how much I would wear the Nev Studio branded one, but I do really like this other one. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me... Let me fix my hair. Hold on, please. Obviously, I didn't think that through. <laughs> um, okay, next up. Okay, I'm so excited about this. You know that I've been wanting a chest bag for quite a while. So, I finally got one. This is really cool because it has the 3M here. I, you can't really tell because it's not very bright out. But this is like the 3M material. So, it should shine in the nighttime. I really can't wait to wear this. Um, the pockets came out a little smushed in shipping, but I think that that should come out okay. Um, I'm excited that this is so small because I have trouble sometimes with chest bags because they're pretty big. But this one looks like it's very adjustable. So no matter uh, if you're like a larger size guy or person, or if you're small like me, this should fit. So jazzed. Next up is a vest, which I've also been wanting for a minute. Um, I like the detailing on this. It has a bunch of different pockets. It has like a pretty sturdy zipper. Um, this is made out of, it would help if you couldn't see me talk. Um, it's made out of cotton, which I'm not the most excited about. I was hoping that this would be like a Gore-Tex kind of material, but I like the fit and I'm excited to try it on. Okay, so I got two pairs of joggers. These ones I am super excited for. I tried these on earlier and they might be some of my new favorite joggers. If I, I shed every one. But I really like these. They're full length as opposed to a lot of my joggers that I have right now are cropped. So these ones are full length. They have this really cool detailing here on the pockets with a big zipper. 
it is a pocket. It's a big pocket. There's a cool flat pocket here that has the same logoing as the hat. So they are a matching set. We go ahead down here and there's detailing here. So it's actually a mesh detail here, which is cool. It looks really cool in photos. And then down here we have the cuff leg. Um, yeah, has a drawstring top with also elastic in the waistband. And I really like these so far. Um, they seem very comfortable. They're made out of cotton, which is the same as most of the Nev Studio joggers. So yeah, I, I like them so far. Now, the second pair. Okay, so if you follow Antoine, you will recognize this pair of joggers. And it's so funny because I was actually just watching this video earlier today. Antoine, if you're watching this, I love you. But they are the infamous joggers. The ones where Antoine got $12 knockoffs. These are the original joggers. So, they have a pretty nice waistband here, actually. Much nicer than the one in Antoine's video. Um, it has both elastic and a drawstring. It has an interesting material. It's, I think it might be satin. It's definitely a little bit more shiny and uh, different feeling than most of my joggers. Again, which I mentioned are cotton. Um, we have detailing on the pocket here. As soon as I saw the pocket, I was like, wait, these are these are the joggers they have straps here around the legs which i agree with antoine's review that these straps are not um they they could be better quality <laughs> but they look good in photos <laughs> um and then the bottom here has a cuff a smaller cuff than the other ones these are definitely nicer way nicer than the ones that antoine reviewed though yeah those ones were wild <laughs> okay now give me five seconds just gotta catch my breath and then we'll move on to our final couple items okay so we have two things left and they're both kind of hoodie jackets so first up is oh, it doesn't want to come out so i've seen a couple different youtubers review this sweater um actually i really like it um the hood is really cool it has these little brackets here that hold the hood together and connect it to the rest of the jacket um i like the detailing here on the jacket it has some here on the front on the sleeve and then also on the back unfortunately my kanji is struggling so i can't read what it says sorry if anyone can translate it that would be awesome but uh it's made out of kind of a terry cloth material so not a cotton um but it's actually pretty comfortable i was wearing this jacket all the time the other day um it has a drawstring here at the bottom, which is awesome for someone like me who's a little bit smaller and wearing this as an oversized sweater. So I really like this one. And then the final piece that we have is this sweater. So it has a similar hood to the other one with the connections here. Um, also has some embroidering on the front, but this one is a little bit different. It has a pocket here on the front also, and then it has these like cute little drawstring pockets on the side. Um, I don't know why I need a drawstring pocket on my arm, but I, I kind of dig it. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> um, it also has embroidery here on the back. So it's pretty similar to the last sweater that we had, just a little bit different styling on it. But like I mentioned, these are both super comfortable. So honestly, if you're looking for a hoodie alternative, I would recommend. All right, everyone. So thank you so much for joining our giant Nev Studio haul from today. <laughs> 
Um, before I go, I just wanted to mention a couple last things. First of all, if you're interested in learning more about any of these products, everything is listed in the description section below, so you can learn more about these things and check them out if you want. Secondly, all of the items that I have are in a size small. Uh, for sizing purposes, I'm 5'1 and weigh about 110 pounds. Um, if you're in between sizes or not sure which size to go with, I would recommend sizing up. Uh, I usually wear a size extra small, but I usually get things in a small because I'd rather have my tech wear a little oversized than too tight. <laughs> um, and then last thing I wanted to mention on here is that this video wasn't meant to be a review of NEM Studio. This was just for us to try on some clothes and have some fun. I am, however, working on a review of NEM Studio Streetwear, talking about products that I would recommend, products that I wouldn't recommend, and answering your questions. So if you do have any questions about any of these products or the company in general, please drop them in the comment section and I'll go ahead and address those in my next video. So yeah, thank you all so much for being here. This is my first YouTube video of the year, so I'm super pumped and I'm actually gonna be recording videos every week. So if you like this, please subscribe for more. Thanks, bye.